My husband, a plastic surgeon, previously earned between $500,000 and $700,000 annually, including bonuses at his practice. However, he was recently let go due to a reduction in plastic surgery patients caused by COVID-19. As a doctor, he has only been able to find general practice work. Welcome to the hallowed halls of Magic's Monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of the keys to today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. Today's video, Surgeon Hubby Salary Cut, Why I'm Considering Leaving My Husband. But before embarking on an expedition to knowledge and many people's bad life choices, I thank you for the thumbs up you've given me, the subscribe, and the smacking of the bell to be instantly notified of new videos. Let's begin the journey. This video I'm doing is a pure lesson video, guys, to show general female nature and what can happen if you don't choose properly. This is an object lesson on why you never want to lead with your money or your positional life status because you just might end up like this guy. In addition, I know it's not sexy. However, in this modern dating and modern marriage world in the Western First World Nations, never marry without protecting yourself and your assets because family courts are full of men who have said my woman would never do this to me uh-huh remember for a reasonable number of women it's about your future and the lifestyle you can provide for her and your offspring it's an evolutionary driver and to deny its existence you deny this at your own peril. Now, having said that, are there women out there who are the exception? Absolutely. However, this story is a lesson to remind you marriage guys that no man is immune. It doesn't matter if you're the legendary six foot, six pack, six income kind of guy. If you don't have decent relationship skills, you will still be screwed in family court. If you are relationship-minded, then prenups, LLCs, and trusts are your friends to help protect yourself just in case. I mean, after all, how many of you drive cars and you have car insurance, but you're not out there looking to have an accident? Protect yourself in the same mindset. My husband lost his job and I'm considering leaving him. My husband, a plastic surgeon, previously earned between $500,000 and $700,000 annually, including bonuses at his practice. However, he was recently let go due to reduction in plastic surgery patients caused by COVID-19. As a doctor, he has only been able to find general practice work with his highest offer being 250000 He's considering accepting this offer. Okay, provide and protect. Notice here, guys, he's doing what a man does, what is necessary to keep a roof over their heads, even if he has to swallow his pride and take a $450,000 pay cut. Yeah, I know. Many of you guys right now are going, oh, poor baby, you don't even make 250 k However, look at his actions. While I understand we need income, I'm concerned about him becoming accustomed to a lower salary and not working hard to return to the mid-six-figure earnings we're used to. He used to provide me with $10,000 monthly allowance which has now been reduced to a $3,000. As a result, I've had to stop getting my nails done, as well as hair 
and salon services. My monthly shopping has also been significantly reduced. Did you get that, guys? I'm concerned about him becoming a custom? Bull crap. The only thing she is concerned with is her easy high status life. Now, I have to ask, what the hell was wrong with him that he chose such an entitled biatch? I'm aware that he might recover financially, but there's also a chance he might not. Most men, given time, work hard, and if they have the drive, will come back because as a rule, we're happier with less than most women. We will sacrifice in the short term to make it back on top in the long run. I know my worth and I'm accustomed to. No, you are a disloyal, entitled, solipsistic little C word that I cannot say on this platform with no empathy. I feel uncomfortable having to accept this lifestyle change. I wonder that other men at his old practice still earn more than 500k annually, and I see no reason why I couldn't be with one of those men instead. We don't have children yet, and I don't want to settle for someone with media core ambitions. And there it is, the truth of their relationship and why she married him. I'm unsure what to do. I'm concerned that if I leave him too soon, I might find myself in an even more difficult situation. What would you advise? Well, frankly, I would advise him to find out the acceptable time period in your jurisdiction under the law. He can shift assets to protect them before he files a petition to kick your ass to the curb. Oh, and slap to the back of the head to your husband for not having enough character and masculine center and strength to not have allowed you in his life in the first place. That's on him. And he was a dumbass for falling for your charms. Look, listen, and learn here guys and share this video around in the comments section below give your thoughts on what kind of man her husband is if you are the 66.9 of men who found value in my channel and the 33 percent of women please show it by doing three things give me a thumbs up subscribe hit that bell and share this with at least three friends who need to learn from this channel. Confession is good for the soul and this channel. So send me your personal relationship stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send the link to stories at magicsmonologue.com. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys or subscribe to my locals rumble twitter getter or gab through this you are leading by example encouraging other men to rise higher ensuring you live a life of passion purpose and prosperity if you can't wait for my next new video click on one of these and watch another immediately until next time.